On m'a dit, c'est this election matter don't tear apart notre canvas with both and face canvas. I declare you so. Peter will be by instead, don't bust out, don't scatter everywhere. Hey, hey. I neck, this is not over. Make on a banana say, hear every two Peter will be talk for inside this press conference. Hey, make on a no say, this matter just the start. We must reclaim back our mandate. Watch and make sure say you share this video as you watch after. So, when I watch the video. Again, my dear people, um, let me again correct one impression because I've seen some people saying in the media that I released one news or the other. I have never directly or indirectly spoken or released any message since after voting on the 25th. My last comment in the media was mainly after voting on the 25th, and I've never done so until now. So whatever you see in the media, please disregard. It's not coming from me, directly or indirectly. This is my first time of speaking, coming out to the media. And I thank all of you for your understanding. For me, it's a very simple thing is to speak to Nigerians who on the 25th of February trooped out a mass as committed citizens to participate in what all of us know as the called existential election for supposedly free, fair, credible, presidential, and national assembly election. We enjoy, in all things, we give thanks to God. For me, number one thing is gratitude. Gratitude to God Almighty that continue to protect and bless our dear country, Nigeria. Number two is gratitude to Nigerians that participated in the election answering the call as true citizens in our dear country. Number three is gratitude to those of the Nigerians, especially the youth, that believed and worked tirelessly for a new Nigeria and trusting that new Nigeria on that thing, my good self. I thank them for their hard work. Gratitude to the obedience, youth, those who believe that a new Nigeria is possible. And I say to them that a new Nigeria is possible. And we'll work for that new Nigeria that is possible. Their resilience, their hard work for a new Nigeria should not be won. Daddy and I co remain committed to that new Nigeria. I know how they will be feeling now because of the way the elections have come and gone. The commitment and resilience of Nigerians, even in face of unwarranted rhetoric attacks, is a testimony that a new Nigeria is indeed possible. I look at people like Lady Jennifer Ifed, who was stabbed but insisted on voting. 
And that gives me courage to believe that a new Nigeria is indeed possible. And there's so many other Nigerians. The election that we just witnessed has been conducted and results announced as programmed. It is a clear version from electoral rules and guidelines as we were promised. This election did not meet the minimum standard expected of a free, transparent, credible, fair election. It will go down as one of the most controversial elections ever conducted in Nigeria. The good and hardworking people of Nigeria have again been robbed by our supposed leaders whom they trusted. However, let me humbly and most respectfully appeal to all Nigerians to remain peaceful, law-abiding, and conduct themselves in the most responsible manner. Please be assured that Dati and I, and indeed all of us, this is not the end, but the beginning of the journey for a birth of new Nigeria. Dati Mohammed and I remain absolutely undaunted and deeply committed to the project of a new Nigeria that will be built on honesty, transparency, fairness, justice, equity. All the above starts with the process, the process through which people come into office is far more fundamental more important than what they do thereafter. It's my belief, and I've maintained so consistently, that if you must answer His Excellency, the process through which you arrive to office must be excellent. <laughs> we must now require that we do the right things in order to generate the required confidence and moral authority to lead. As you know, destruction of a society begin and gradually progress when we act rascally, or we deliberate the manipulation of the rule of law and suppression of the will of the people. During my campaign process, I would say that we will govern by the rule of law because we know what not doing that will bring about. And that's why we insisted that. Let me reiterate and I assure you that good people of Nigeria that will explore all legal and peaceful options to reclaim our mandate. <laughs> we won the election and we will prove it to Nigerians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please do not despair. We have elections coming up. On the 11th, I enjoin you to go out, campaign, and bring up people to again come out and vote in that election. We still have so many massive support out there that we need for our subnational and state assemblies, please come out and be part of that election. I assure you that I will be part of it. I assure you 
So now I'm totally committed for a better future in this country. And nothing will stop that. That is commitment. My commitment is total. Be rest assured that your support will not be in vain. Amen. And you will not find us one thing. Amen. We must build a better Nigeria. Amen. Where Nigerian youths will be happy, glad to call their own country. Yes. Thank you and may God Almighty continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Amen. Thank you very much. So, colleagues, if you don't take anything home in what we don't have, he said we won the election and we will prove it to the world, we will reclaim that mandate. Another round of applause for him. Okay, so we will take a few questions from uh, journalists who are. So, if you raise your hands, I recognize you, you can come out here and speak. Okay. Oh, all right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shaw Kimale. I'm a reporter with Channel's Television. I'd like to ask you, um, it does look, I mean, I have two questions, uh, and they are quick ones. Um, you, you said that you're going to reclaim, and you said you won the elections. If you'd like to expatiate on what you meant by that, uh, in what areas do you think, uh, because your speech does look to me like uh, the elections is flawed as far as you're concerned. What are the evidence that you have uh, to support the claim uh, about the conduct of the election? And if you can tell us which areas, what are the, what are the aspects of the elections you think that are not right? Uh, the second part of my question is, um, the journey since Saturday election, you seem to have formed an alliance with other political parties like the PDP. Are you doing this challenge on the election or the outcome of the election alongside with them? How much of partnership do you have uh, with the PDP? Have you spoken to uh, the, the candidate of the PDP? What kind of uh, alliance are you forming? Um, again, because of the sensitivity of the outcome, the nation went into a very crucial and tense election came out of it, things, uh, the nation is still very tense. And also, we, we discover that the, the nation at this time needs to come together. Uh, what kind of words are you going to send out to your supporters and your followers uh, in respect to the fact that we must have a nation first uh, and then we must be able to keep the nation together? And lastly, have you spoken? Have you, have you spoken? Have you reached out to the matter as an exact winner? Thank you. Well, uh, you did ask me the process and the areas. If I tell you all this, I don't know what I'll be telling the court. <laughs> we are past the stage of that. Because we were asked to go to the court. Isn't that what they said? It says so. so let's go there. <laughs> I'm, 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 remember that I'm obedient. Oh, yes. <laughs> I want to tell you, I'm going to go where I'm directed to go. <laughs> and then you will see where and how. Or just to give you an emphasis, in 2015, the number of registered voters, if I can remember, is about, uh, what was it again? About 67 million registered voters and 29.4 voted. In 2019, that tally increased to about 80, 84 million. And about 28.4 million voted. And 
then we were told that about 11 million registered in 2022, if I'm correct, which brought the registration to about 95, but 87 collected their PVC because of the issue of not being able to collect the PVC, but only 23.3 million voted. You can see that how Nigeria works. So we have an increase of 11 million, and the voters dropped <laughs> by sharply by over 20 percent instead of increasing. The reason it was due to manipulation and reduction and removal and inputs of votes here and there, because otherwise the number is supposed to have increased. It didn't increase because people were busy doing what is wrong. And we have chosen our challenge this rascality for the future of the country. <laughs> Nigeria cannot conduct election 63 years after independence. It's something everybody should reflect on. Unexamined life is not worth living. And we can't go on like this. Shen, will you ask about the alliance? We are not in alliance. We are discussing and in partnership with other people and any other Nigerian who feels hot as we do. I've said it and I repeat, I have all my life challenged the process. I believe that the process through which people get anywhere is respected. As a person, I've had a school award me a professor. And I can go and see my reply to them. I said, I can't be, because I've not gone through the process of being a professor. Mm. The process through which people come into any place is far more fundamental than what they do thereafter. We must not have people who have the moral authority because of the process who come into it. So if we use the process we use today, tell me how we can tell the train robber, the kidnapper, that is doing the wrong thing. Say we have not made calls to anybody. Okay. I'm not against making calls. Everybody that is involved in this, even the two main contenders, have always said, are my elder brothers, you know, the farm, my seniors, they should actually be my father, so I respect them, and I keep with that. And if they call me and want me to see them, I'll see them. But on this issue, I'm challenging the process. Okay. Okay.